Boys, girls, how are we? I've got a Bogner Shiva here. It was just in for a uh, run of the mill retube and, well, you know, output tubes. And um, just check over, check the bias. Um, just a bit of a service, you know, and just check over. Uh, it's just about to fire it up. I was getting ready to figure out where my uh, bias test points are and and uh, I just put the terminal to ground and to the cathode there was no connection so this is an amp design where um, the standby switch breaks the, con the connection from cathode to ground which is fine um, but I flicked it on just to test and of course nothing's as simple as just a simple service there's always something that needs attention so here I'm measuring from a ground test point to the cathodes, both of them are, are uh, paralleled, both output valves. I'm getting 5.4 ohms. Just flick it off. Standby mode, still no connection. Turn it on. 18 ohms this time. There's pretty much zero ohms. 80 something ohms. It's like a lucky dip, hey! Every time you, every time you click it, you get another value. You could do bingo with it or something. <laughs> yeah, so uh, no good. It switches fast, and it's one of those weird switches that um, it's like um, off one pole and then the other pole. It's not your average toggle switch. So I'm gonna have to look at the part number on that. Find out who's got one. It says Mexico. So it's probably a Carling switch, which is good, because they're, they're quality, but this thing's switching off DC. So switches always get a bit more punished by DC than they do with AC, because it doesn't naturally break the arc like an AC voltage does. Yeah, I was getting almost, a, just touching it. I was getting almost a, a K there before. So that's no good. I have to order another switch and uh, chuck her in. Nothing's ever simple. Anyway, thanks for checking it out.